Hola, I'm your local realtor, Lizette, and I'm here today with... Daniel Myers. I'm the general manager of Crawford's in downtown Sioux Falls. So, I have been going to Crawford's for so many years. The food here is absolutely fantastic. I love bringing my friends and family, especially friends that aren't from here and out of town, just because, oh my gosh, the food is absolutely just phenomenal. Dan, what makes your food so incredible what is the special ingredient or sauce so we focus on as much local and flavorful ingredient we just try to buy the best and not mess them up I love that you go local so we go to the farmers market pretty much every Saturday and then meet our connections through there our owners the Odie brothers out of Brandon they actually ended up buying their own ranch when they bought Crawford's and we are featuring a lot of their meat products such as our, our ribeye tenderloin New York strips, our burgers that we are actually doing Wagyu down at Fernson as well. So, and that's all of our local harvest beef and it's right out of Humboldt, South Dakota. Wow, I love it. That is phenomenal. Currently, you guys are part of the pork showdown. Yes. Which is a pork battle mm -hmm. in downtown, correct? Correct. So we have one week of that. We've decided to show it to you guys, so check it out. Voila, here is the pork special. Dan, tell us all about it. So this is our pork wellington that we're running for the pork showdown. Wanted to take a beef wellington and kind of do like a traditional play on it but using pork. So we made our mushroom duck cell, cook those down for several hours, and then we use an entire bottle of Chateau Bianca Pinot Noir to blend in with it. Instead of using prosciutto like you would on a traditional beef wellington, we wrap it in jalapeno bacon, give it a little bit of spice, not much, just to balance it out, round it out. Still paint it with John Mustard. And then on the bottom, instead of using a rich demi, we did a strawberry roasted red pepper, a little jalapeno coulis or we call it a jam in our menu. Very spreadable and easy. A little bit of uh, borson mashed potatoes, some grilled asparagus and carrots on the side. Then we just finish it off with some citrus greens, a little olive oil from Spain that's really rich and fruity. My goodness. Doesn't this just look amazing? Now, hearing all of that olive oil from Spain, whew, can this be like the best entree ever? I think so. <laughs> I'm actually going to pair it with this organic wine. Love Block. Love Block. From the Kim Crawford series. Yes. And we're going to have Rachel, our wine enthusiast, tell you a little bit more about it. Come on over. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for presenting an, an organic wine. You guys know I love, love, love anything organic. So this is phenomenal. Well, what's really special about this bottle is Kim Crawford, who's a huge name in wines, sold off Kim Crawford's wines with the intention to start a new winery. He started it calling it Love Block, and Kim Crawford is really well known for all of his Sauvignon Blocks. But he wanted to make a more sustainable, more organic product, so this is gonna be a lot less processed. It's really well balanced. You're gonna get some peach and apricot, but it's not so acidic that you can't just sit on the patio and drink it, but it pairs wonderfully. Pork, it pairs really wonderfully with fish and shrimp. I love the shrimp, so. Mm, which we have on our menu, totally good. <laughs> Love Nobody it. goes away hungry here. I love it. And then you also have a blog, right? I do. So I am the wine enthusiast here. I am um, studying to get my sommelier, sort of master for that in December. And I decided to share my love of wine and what makes wine so approachable. And it's called the perfect pour. The perfect, like, uh, like a cat purrs, because I have cats. So Aww, <laughs> how many cats do you have? I have two. And one of them, she likes to help me taste my wines. I've got lots of pictures of her uh, <laughs> tasting wines and smelling wines. She's got quite the palate. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Her blog is below. Definitely check it out. And when you come into Crawford's, make sure you ask for the love walk with the pork special. 
Pork Wellington special. Okay. Pork Wellington, absolutely. Super decadent, and this is just a great complement to it. Yeah, do you want to show the bottle? And feature oh, absolutely. It? So, Love Black by Kim Crocker. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Dig in and enjoy the deer. That is, that is phenomenal. And those porcelain mashed potatoes are so good. They'll make you cry. <laughs> oh my, I'm like nervous. I don't even know what to do. We're going to dig in. Wow, the bacon comes out with this so nicely, and the flavors, phenomenal. This really does bring out the special by a lot. It really does, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna try a little bit of meat with the jam. That potato, wow. There, if you like truffles, you're gonna love this truffle potato. Mm, you cannot go wrong with that at all. It is phenomenal. Mm, mm, mm. There you have it, everybody. Come check out Crawford's. This is only available for one more week, so definitely get your hands on it. And do not forget to get your hands on the love block. Until next time. Do you have a lot of vegan options here at Crawford's? Myself and my team of chefs really like to get creative. So honestly, if there's a vegan or special request, we'll come up to your table, talk to you, kind of design a dish just for you, kind of make it more of a special occasion because our menu is more traditional steakhouse. So but we do like to accommodate everything. Give us a little bit of history of Crawford's and this building because the decor here is unlike any other place I've ever been to. So about two years ago, Crawford's got bought out by the Odie Brothers, as I said, with uh, the beef. Dave Graham and Tanya Graham designed the entire atmosphere with DeWitt Design. They always called it Texas meets Gypsy. Mm. So uh, really good feeling about that. The building is actually the original butcher shop of Sioux Falls. Right above our bar, right behind our burger battle trophy actually, is the cleaver we found in the wall from the original butcher here. It slowly turned into Crawford's menswear into the 60s. Right when you walk in the front door, if we don't have the mat over it, because it does get a little slippery because of the trazodone, it's actually a Crawford's menswear logo still. And that's where the name originated. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> So cool. How often is your menu changed? So we change our menu seasonally. It's been changing about every three to four months, depending on how fast we can turn around our products and stuff. Right now, I'm actually working on kind of changing the menu to only change a couple times a year. I really want to work on features that we're doing on a weekly basis. So there'll be two to three features every Friday, Saturday. They'll literally run until we run out. And that way, we can work with the farmers and everything in town a little more, or our, our seafood purveyors, our best products possible, and then deliver them to you guys. That is so cool. And the fun part about living and being around Sioux Falls, South Dakota, is that this is the Midwest, so the farming community is big. Sioux Falls is just a city with a small town feel, so again, making it very inclusive with our neighbors is just awesome. So you guys won the burger battle this year, which was my favorite, by the way. Every January, there's a burger battle in downtown. There's over 30 burgers. Uh, there's 32 this year, if I remember. 
32 burgers and people get to vote on which one was the best. Crawford's honestly was just so amazing that they decided to keep it going. What inspired that burger? So as I said earlier, the beef was all inspired by our owners and their ranch. So using the best beef possible. Our team were, was playing around and we came up with the truffle spread that you can actually buy for our chip dip on the menu. So we wanted to use that as the base. I'm really like, this whole conversation, we're, we're going into fresh and local. I, I really like those fresh things as like tomato, onion, lettuce, and, and keeping those really fresh and vibrant, but burger battles in January. So you're not gonna get the best produce possible. Instead of doing your traditional tomato and onion, we decided to make a jam out of that, make a little preservative, and then add some ginger, jalapeno, and some other spices to that that will really elevate the flavors. In the past, we were called Bar and Grill. We're kind of more of a steakhouse, in my opinion. But the pre like pretzel always gives me that bar feel. So team and I talked about the, uh, the bun. We decided to go with the pretzel. And then we just put some arugula on it to keep it really fresh and vibrant. Paired out really, really well, I guess. So. Yeah, you guys, if you can still get your hands on that Burger Battle Burger, I really, really highly recommend it. It's called the Truffle Jam Burger, correct? Truffle Jam Burger, yep. Yes, it is just, oh my gosh, the, the flavor is in there, you just, you're mind blown, but everything just ties so well together. Dan, I want to make a reservation. What would you recommend? What what time is the best? Do you guys do big parties? So we do a little bit of everything. If, if you want to run out the entire upstairs and do a holiday event, or if you just want a small table up here and do something very exclusive, you can always contact us. Ask to talk to me, Jordan, Tom, and we'll accommodate you. October 3rd, we're doing a beer dinner with uh, Woodgrain. So they they gave us five great beers to work off of and I'm working on a menu that will be coming out a week be or a week before this video. So we'll be on our Facebook. Would really suggest looking into that. And then we've been throwing some wine menus or wine dinners and different things. But best way to make reservations, go to Open Table, look us up, or call the restaurant. Absolute easiest way is to do everything online. I have their website below and their phone number, plus their hours. I've also added everybody's social media on there. So if you'd like to follow them, that would be amazing. Give them a thumbs up. If you know somebody that is looking for a great place to eat in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, please share this video. We love and appreciate all of you so much. Until next time. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>